and welcome back to more Sonic Generations. Last time, we saved Sky Sanctuary and defeated Metal Sonic for a Chaos Emerald. This time, we still need to find two more keys before we can challenge the boss of the area. First of all, I want to go up here uh, to complete this challenge. Aqua Shield Challenge. Use Aqua Shield to reach the golden time and obtain the Aqua Shield skill. So this challenge is pretty fun. Uh, we have the Aqua Shield from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. This lets us um, press A again to bounce, like so, um, and also protects us from drowning and also will uh, shield us from taking damage. Um, I never thought of it as the Aqua Shield. Uh, I guess that is the canon name, obviously, but I always called it the Bubble Shield. Um, either way, it's actually pretty cool um, that the elemental shields are in this game uh, from Sonic 3 & Knuckles, even if they work very differently than in the original. So instead of being power-ups throughout stages, they are equipable skills instead. Um, so basically, if we go to Omochao's skill shop, once we unlock this shield, uh, we'll be able to uh, equip it, basically. Um, so we need to bounce through there, and from here, we need to bounce up to these uh, high-up platforms. Um, now, there are spikes, making this a little bit more challenging than it was before, um, but still not too difficult. And from here, we need to bounce over all three spikes uh, to the goal. So that's one challenge down. I got new skills in stock. Come by the skill shop to check them out. We have our challenge bell. That's a gold note this time. I uh, got song, Splash Hill Zone, from Sonic 4 Episode 1. And we have our key. So that's two keys collected, um, but we still need to find one in Green Hill. So let's head over here and uh, let's try uh, this Knuckles challenge. Knuckles, Horde of Enemies. A horde of giant enemies will try to interfere in your race with Knuckles. First one to the finish wins. I'll be honest, I actually forgot Knuckles had a challenge in Green Hill. I thought only Tails had one. Um, here we have a side-scrolling race with Knuckles, with a lot of enemies around, and if I'm not mistaken, a remix of Super Sonic Racing from Sonic R. That is an interesting choice. At least I think that's the song that plays in this level. Um, either way, let's try to stay ahead of Knuckles and make it to the goal uh, quickly. Alright, so from here we have a lot of these larger enemies. Uh, that one bounces up here. Yep, that is definitely supersonic racing. Um, that is a deep cut, and I actually uh, am fine with that, because if anything, Sonic R has a very good soundtrack. Or a very memorable soundtrack at the very least. Um, so yeah, let's try to bounce off these enemies and try to make it to the end. We're actually really close, and we're actually really far ahead of Knuckles. Uh, so this is actually going very well so far. Um, only a few more enemies to go, I think, and... Um, yeah, we should almost be to the end. And that takes care of the Green Hill Zone challenge for now. So, let's collect our prize. Um... Artwork 42. And our key. You've collected all boss gate keys. Use them to unlock the boss gate. We'll come back for these other challenges some other time. Uh, for now, I want to fight the boss. So let's uh, spin dash over here.
The boss gate is now open. Head on through to face off against the boss. Alright, let's see who this is. As classic Sonic, we have to fight the Death Egg Robot from Sonic 2. It's really cool. Um, I know I complained a little bit about Sky Sanctuary, uh, but I do like the foreshadowing of actually going to the Death Egg for this. So basically, we have to dodge under it and then um, attack its back. Um, kind of similar to Sonic 2 fight in a way. Alright, so that's our first attack down. Um, so from here, uh, we need to keep dodging attacks for a bit. Um, I also really like this remix. Um, I'm not actually a fan of this boss fight originally, partly because you're supposed to do this without any rings, uh, which isn't great. Alright, so now we have to basically get him to uh, punch these bombs. Um, that didn't exactly work out. Um, so yeah, let's try this again and hope this works. I think I dodged too early that time. Uh, if this is our first non-S uh, rank, I would not even be shocked because this fight is not actually that easy uh, to do efficiently. There we go. Alright, so that's one hit in this phase, uh, so let's keep keep at it. Um, I feel like if you take damage, and yet he still hits the bomb, it won't count for some reason, which kind of sucks. Barely missed out on the uh, S rank. Um, I'm still happy with an A rank though, given that didn't go super well, but that was actually a shorter boss fight than I remember it being.
can't believe there's two of me. I think I figured it out. Yeah, me too. Doubles of us? Places and enemies from our past? We're, We're traveling, traveling through, through time, time and space! space. How did this happen? I think it's got something to do with that big thing that just kidnapped Eggman. It sounds like the same thing that kidnapped your friends. Uh, I mean, our friends. You know what I mean. that thing and fast you can now access and explore the next area We got a Chaos Emerald. Alright, so we have unlocked a new era of levels. Uh, but we'll worry about that in a moment. First of all, I want to go back over to uh, Green Hill Zone, or past it, uh, to show off the shop. Welcome, this is the skill shop. You can, you can spend shop points here to get new skills. So, uh, using our points for uh, clearing acts, we can unlock all sorts of helpful abilities, including the Aqua Shield we just unlocked. Um, and you might notice that some of these are limited to Act 1, and some are limited to Act 2. Basically, some are only for Modern Sonic. You have a customization menu. You can equip the skills you acquired here. The skill you can equip is determined by the number of points you have, so choo choose your skills wisely to create your own skill set. So basically, uh, we can uh, choose any of the skills uh, we have unlocked. Uh, for example, we have this power break move, um, and that takes 10 points. So you have 100 points to work with, so you can't become super powerful, obviously, but it's cool. I won't be using skills for this playthrough, um, but it's good to have the option um, uh, to make things a little bit easier if necessary. Uh, but for now, I want to explore this next area. And we've entered a whole new era with Speed Highway from Sonic Adventure. So, um, a lot of games get skipped over, like 3D Blast, um, but I'm not really, um, I'm not complaining about that as someone who doesn't really like some of the games between, um, the classics and, uh, the modern era. Um, honestly, I actually started with the, uh, Mega Collection for GameCube and then Adventure 1 and 2. Um, so I have just as much, if not more, nostalgia for the 3D era as the 2D era, so I actually really like this level. Um, it's a cool conversion of a 3D level into a 2D space, which is kind of the opposite of what we had been seeing uh, with the Genesis-themed levels. Um, so here we have a switch. I don't actually remember what that does. Um, we have a rocket, very similar to the original. Uh, I'm surprised they made that jump because the game started lagging right when I tried that, so that worked out very well somehow. I say as I'm messing up this next jump, sadly. Um, I like having the remixes as well, so now everything is being done in the opposite direction, so musically this doesn't- this sounds more original instead of the uh, modern stuff sounding more original, so it's very different. Um, this is very platforming focused, uh, there are a lot of bottomless pits to worry about. 
I'm amazed I made it to that uh, dash ring. I thought I was just a little bit too short there. Um, and the jump was too short to make that. But we made it, so we also collected a couple of rings. There's a bell, kind of a nice throwback to the, um, the, uh, other part of the level that's, uh, like a dawn. Um, except the bell is in the middle of the level instead of at the end, so it's a little bit different. We have the helicopter. Uh, I really like seeing all these set pieces recreated in a 2D setting. Uh, and eventually we'll have to go through this for Act 2 and see how they've reimagined it in 3D, which will be fun. Um, yeah, overall I really like this level. It's definitely kind of indicative of uh, the increasing difficulty as we're past the early stages in the game. Uh, so things have definitely heated up quite a bit. Uh, we have a lot of rotating platforms that will basically um, drop us off if we stand on them too long. So we have to be really careful. Um, I messed up getting that red ring, oh well. Alright, that did not go how I thought it would. Uh, but we survived, so that's something. Um, up here, um, we have another enemy. I like the little um, monkey-themed robots, uh, or the bad nicks uh, from the adventure era in the little cars like they were in the original adventure. And we're back to getting S-Ranks, hopefully for the foreseeable future. Got Song, Green Hill Zone Original. You got artwork, uh, 8. Artwork 9, and Artwork 10. I was just looking at this level entrance, and there are a ton of references. There's a Chowan Space sign, Blaze Road, Shadow Avenue, E123 Omega Road. This game has so much love poured into it, and that makes it such a good anniversary game, even if there are some things I would have done differently. Um, also worth mentioning is you can actually talk to the people you've rescued, and they can actually give you hints on, I think, red ring locations even. Uh, if I'm not really going after the red rings, uh, I won't really be talking to them though, but it is an option if you want hints for the level. I also just realized, wow, we almost got everything in that level <laughs> uh, without even trying. Um, but we'll have to explore Speed Highway some more next time. So thank you for watching, and I hope to join me next time for more Sonic Generations.